I'm going at top speed. I'm Maury Irvin, living here at the Springs, Bergman, and I'm still in independent care. We'll see for how long. <laughs> You know, I'm a Butte High graduate, and I graduated in June of 41. And you know what happened in December? <laughs> so uh, I tried to get in the Navy. I love the Navy, but my eyes wouldn't let me. And so I did some training and became a radio officer in the Merchant Marine. Of course, I had never been on a ship. <laughs> I sailed on five Liberty ships and a tanker. In the beginning, Nazi submarines were so active, we always went in convoy, maybe 40 ships in a convoy. My radio shack, my office, where I had all my equipment, was on the top inner deck at the same on the same deck as the captain. So the captain had his suite on one side of the deck and I was on the other with my radio shack at one end and my stateroom at the other. So there were only two of us on that deck and I reported directly to the captain. And then when we hit port, they took down my antennas. So I was out of work while we were in port so I'd ask the captain, when are you going to leave? And he would tell me and hop off, I'd hop off the ship, travel around, come back the day before we left. It was a grand adventure. <laughs> and after the war was over, I decided I needed an education. I was just out of high school. So being from Butte, the only uh, place I knew, a college I knew, was in Bozeman. So I came to Bozeman, to Montana State College, and uh, I used to like to go to dances. And the armory at that time, uh, every weekend, would have a dance. So I went down to one, one night, and there was a girl out there uh, dancing with her friend. Uh, she obviously was with a couple, and then she was sort of by herself. So I decided she looked pretty cute. It's the only time I've had this feeling, but I felt that if we danced, we were going to be together a long time. So uh, we started going steady, and I was spending all my free time from the college uh, going out with her, and then um, one Saturday, oh, it was New Year's Eve. I said, let's go over to Livingston and get married. We went over to the Justice of the Peace. And he was uh, in the jail. His facility was at the jail. So we went over and said, will you marry us? And he said, yes. I'll get a couple of the prisoners as witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he was just joking. Uh, he had a couple of his staff come and witness. So we got married on New Year's Eve. And then uh, I decided that I needed more education. My uh, wife wrote a lot of letters to various schools asking for a half-time job while I was uh, studying. Right. And so uh, Lehigh offered it, so we went to uh, Lehigh. After the first year, my wife was working, and um, she said she wanted to stop working, she wanted to start a family. So I said, okay. So I started working full time. <laughs> So I was working full time while I was getting my PhD in physics. And after that was over, um, we uh, came back to Bozeman and uh, bought a house and had a good time. When we got out of, out of, I got my PhD, I looked around and I got hired by Bell Telephone Laboratories. 
I think it was a member that built the first transistor computer. So I got a, an award from the Computer Museum for that. It was the R&D facility of AT&T, which at that time owned all the telephone companies. And it was in a very special arrangement with the government because it was a, a, an approved monopoly. We, we couldn't do anything except phone service, but the government could come to Bell Labs and ask them to do things for them. Bell Labs had been working for the government for a long time. They had built air defense systems during the uh, Second World War that they installed both here and uh, in some of our allied companies. And the government said, what, is the air, what are the air defense requirements for the next 10 years? So Bell Labs wrote a report and said, it's defense against intercontinental ballistic missiles. So uh, they started, they got a contract to build an ICBM defense system and to test it. And what happened was that we started to install it. Uh, we installed one in North Dakota to protect our missile bases there, one in Montana to defend our missile by Great Falls. And then uh, the government signed a peace treaty with Russia, and we both agreed we will not defend our missile systems. So we took down all the equipment that we had put in, put in uh, Dakota and in Montana. There's still, the last time I checked, which was years ago, there is still one concrete building in a farmer's field. And I would like very much to show you my trip to Washington, D.C., where here is John Tester. Here's me, and there's Steve Daines and Mac Bacchus. We, they helped us have a wonderful time in Washington, D.C. Looking forward to seeing them again. You bet, sign me up immediately for a dream flight. And thank you, thank you, Billion Auto Group for the opportunity. Really looking forward to it.